Billy West and then Judy Rogers she became the chef about 27 years ago and she basically kind of defined what the food is the cuisine and introduced all of our signature items um, the most famous um, dish we have is a roast chicken for two with a warm bread salad out of the wood burning oven um, very popular it's probably the most iconic dish in the Bay Area um, Caesar salad is quite famous as well as our house cured anchovies too uh, the menu changes every night. Um, we basically source all of the best ingredients um, from all the top ranches and farms um, in the local sort of area. Uh, we go to at least three farmers markets a week, um, so we know all the sort of farmers. Um, we also get stuff directly um, shipped to us too, as well. And um, yeah, we're open for lunch and dinner and brunch on Sundays, and it's uh, it's fantastic. Well, we like to close on Monday just because um, it allows us to have like a day off for all of our staff to thoroughly clean everything, kind of get everything organized, and um, yeah, it's just um, it's quite nice. And also like fish and other things like that, we can't get super fresh on Mondays too. Um, and so we like to get everything as fresh as possible. And so Tuesdays kind of with the natural sort of delivery start to happen. So um, yeah, so that's kind of nice. It allows all the staff to have a permanent day off, which is quite good to spend with their family and friends. The, the name um, Zuni refers to a tribe um, in oh. Arizona, and it started as kind of like um, a southwestern um, type of um, cuisine, like mm -hmm. guacamole and things like that. And then um, Judy Rogers, when she uh, became the chef like 27 years ago, she kind of introduced a sort of farm to table and um, sort of the California, California cuisine that um, Alice Waters helped sort of pioneer as well, and she had these too. So um, basically trying to source the best possible ingredients. Um, kind of just let them sort of speak for themselves too um, and kind of just handle them very sort of um, simply and minimalistic via, um, as well so it's um, it's nice. Um, I think it's the, um, the staff. Um, we've had a lot of members um, that have been here for 28 years, 29 years um, and it just it's a really nice sort of community that's here. Um, over 100 people work here. Um, a lot of people worked here for quite a long time and it's just um, yeah, it's just a nice, pleasant sort of work environment. Um, it's very stressful, um, the restaurant industry, but um, kind of with the sort of right people, it creates like dynamic, sort of creative, and um, a nice sort of community too. So um, that's probably my favorite part. And the food, the food's very delicious. The menu changes so often. I like anything out of wood burning oven. Um, mm -hmm. There's always two different dishes for dinner time. Um, our famous uh, roast chicken that I talked about. Um, it's always in the top part of the oven, and the bottom part we do all sorts of different things like rabbit legs or quail, squab, fish braises, whole fish, um, all sorts of things. So I think anything out of the wood burning oven kind of gives it like a uh, beautiful sort of flavor and taste, and um, I think that's my favorite, favorite part. And they also do pizzas for, for lunch too, which are really good too. That, um, we do kind of get everybody um, from sort of like teenagers on a date, or um, celebrities, or just regulars, or people, um, tourists from different countries or different parts of the U.S. too, so uh, we kind of get to see everybody, which is nice and um, definitely kind of represents what San Francisco is about. Um, yeah. A lot of sort of diversity, mm -hmm. a lot of sort of open mind and um, things like that too, so it's it's good. It's good and as soon as you kind of have a place where you can kind of come for whether it's an afternoon snack or just oysters or a big extravagant dinner with some fancy wine mm -hmm. or just having like a martini at the bar, it's, um, it's quite nice, yeah. Judy wrote this about 13 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and she took about a, a year and a half off from the restaurant, oh. uh, which is a pretty big, um, big deal because she's very much was um, a part of the restaurant every single day, running it, overseeing everything, having her sort of influence, and so she basically took a lot of her time off. And um, the cookbook uh, was originally over a thousand pages, but it got synthesized and edited down to roughly like 600 pages. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of chapters, like the pizza chapter, that she you know, never went into it, but. Um, she meticulously recipe tested, so it made sure everything was um, perfectly able to execute for the home cook, and um, it's very thoughtfully written too. Or um, so it's it's quite nice, yeah. But um, we still use the cookbook every day uh, at, the, uh, at the restaurant, which is nice. A lot of the recipes, a lot of the sort of dishes and items, um, we'll kind of see and might do little sort of modifications, but mm -hmm. um, it's definitely something that we definitely treat kind of like our bible.